Hello again, Internet Cave Dwellers. This is your monster movie paleontologist, Aiden, and this week we are drawing the winner of the Patreon poll. This week's topic was dinosaur movies, and the unanimous winner was The Valley of Guanji. Now, I've done other videos before where I've drawn monsters from Ray Harryhausen movies, and the consensus is always that the best thing about Ray Harryhausen movies are, of course, Ray Harryhausen's creatures. The films themselves sometimes support these wonderful effects, sometimes they don't, and the case of Valley of Guanji, it's okay. I don't regard this as one of his best films. I don't even regard it as his best dinosaur film. I think that honor more rightfully goes to one million years BC, but Valley of Guanji is still pretty solid, and of course the creature effects in this movie are fantastic. You wouldn't expect anything less from the maestro Ray Harryhausen. There's some set pieces here that you're definitely going to be impressed with when you look at it again, even with modern eyes. The film was a big influence, of course. A lot of people have pointed out the similarities and the homages made from other dinosaur movies, namely Jurassic Park, which did lift a couple of uh, moments and set pieces from this film, namely uh, Guanji attacking the Ornithomimus. It's good to know that the film had a big impact on future filmmakers and that they showed their love for it too, which is appropriate because the film itself is also an homage to an earlier filmmaker, in this case Willis O'Brien. It was one of his film ideas that he had desperately tried to get off the ground. Those of you who know O.B. and his long and sad history of projects that got just canned or even stolen from him will know that he had a really hard time and Guanji was no exception so it's nice to think that Harry Harryhausen did this as an homage to his former mentor and also just because it's a fun idea you know cowboys versus dinosaurs what's not to love now Guanji himself is it's a fun design well there's a lot of arguments back and forth about whether or not he's a tyrannosaurus or an allosaurus which doesn't sound like a big difference unless if you actually know these species in which case there's probably a massive difference between the two of them I guess it's somewhat comparable to saying oh a jaguar and a leopard are the same thing in which case most people wouldn't know the difference but an actual zoologist would say what so in the case here, it, there's a lot of back and forth, but it doesn't matter. It's a big meat-eating monster, and it, it's pretty happy to kill as many people as possible, or other stop-motion dinosaurs or stop-motion elephants, whichever may be the case. Guanji himself, he's a serviceable villain. Of course, you could feel sympathetic to an animal that's pulled out of its environment and made to perform in a circus. It's not going to have a good time, and it's going to make sure you don't have a good time by tearing out of its cage and killing you, which you're going to have coming if you're dumb enough to do that. So learn your lesson from the monster movie kitties. Leave animals alone, even if they are stop motion animals. Okay, that just about does it. Thank you so very much for watching. Thank you patrons for voting for this one, and we'll be back really soon. Bye-bye.